what is up everyone welcome back to the channel i just got finished watching the live reveal of jade on combat cast i mean she looks amazing guys and um, nether room has really done an amazing job with her um just when i was just kind of like getting a little depressed about the roster and everything this reveal really kind of brought me back and makes me feel much more hopeful about things and um like she just looks great her her costume looks really good well designed i like the gold on green uh kind of uh collaborative look that they have going on with her she looks great her hair looks good her skin tone you know jade from the beginning has always been black dark skin dark tone and they were really true to that this time around they've given her a really nice dark tone and complexion which you know she's kind of had a tone that has varied over the years but this time around i feel like they really kind of went back to the origins of jade because if you all remember mortal kombat 2 jade was dark she was very dark she was of course a palette swap of katana but at the same time they still took the time to give her a distinct difference in skin color and gave her like a darker tone so they kind of really you know went back to their origins with her and gave her that really dark tone and it really is very suitable for her look um so guys uh, one interesting thing i want to bring up is the fact that i'm noticing a trend with the the revenants um i don't know so much about cabal i really wish they could have made cabal look uh his his revenant feature stand out a bit more he still looks really good but at the same time his revenant skin doesn't really stand out as much as perhaps the other members do maybe it's because cabal has on so many different layers of clothing and other features that are covering his face it's harder to really see certain features with him but one thing i've noticed with jade and Liu kang and katana is that their costume something about the revenants they've taken on almost like a a dark like a dark underground or underlayer royalty you know uh by them being associated with the realm of the dead and the nether realm it's like they've kind of taken on this almost royal look to them um which we could kind of see toward the end of mortal kombat x with the emperor and empress com uh costumes with uh for katana and Liu kang but this time around um the footage that i've seen of raiden fighting uh, Liu kang and also from the story mode of seeing Liu Kang and Katana and now the reveal of Jade. All three of them have these costumes that seem to be uh, interwoven with either gold or silver. So it's something about some kind of like under, uh, you know, underworld royalty going on. That some kind of, th you know, theme or look of that happening with the, ro with the Revenants. Um, so I think that's really fascinating. I can't wait to learn a bit more about what's happening with the Revenants. Um... Now, one thing, guys, if you go back and catch, if you did see the, uh, the the combat cast live stream, then you probably already know a lot of the stuff I'm going to share with you. But uh, I did want to reiterate the fact that they did say go back and watch the trailer for Jade if you want to catch a glimpse of newer stages. Actually, there's one in particular. And when I went, went back and watched it, it looked like uh, Goro's lair. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but from the looks of it, there were like bones scattered everywhere. So in Jay's trailer, we do get a glimpse of a new stage background, and I think it's Goro's lair. And there's also a character sitting in a in like a, a either a throne or like a, a large chair in the background that looks like Goro. It actually looks like Goro's dead um, because it looks like his body is you know uh, decomposing. He's clearly, you know, he's not moving. He's just sitting there and all four of his limbs are just kind of like at either side. And it looks like Goro's dead. So um, I don't know if there's something in the story mode that might explain that or whatever, but they did leave him completely out of the story mode for Mortal Kombat 10. So it seems like Goro is just something that the ne Netherum just kind of likes to do whatever they want to with him. Just have him look any kind of way or just whatever. It just doesn't really matter. Um, another thing that I think is really interesting is if you paid attention to the intros between Jade and Baraka uh, during the combat cast, uh, you will notice one intro actually said Jade told Baraka in the future he was dead <coughs> and then baraka said well i'd rather you know uh, well she says i in the future you're dead and i'm a revenant no 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 no. let me let me take that all from the start she said in the future you're dead i'm a revenant and um baraka says well i, I prefer my fight fate over yours and then jade looks at him and she goes she goes baraka i'd have to agree with you so um so that made me think uh i feel like that kind of might have given a glimpse into something that's happening because we know that the younger versions of the past versions are fighting the future versions of themselves but in this face-off between jade and baraka it almost seems like jade had come from the from the future and was fighting baraka who was in the past 
So I was thinking, I was like, okay, so this image of Baraka here that's playable on the uh, uh, on the character select screen, is this supposed to be representative of Baraka in the past? Is that why he's actually on the uh, character select screen because we're playing from we're, we're you know the character select screen is giving us the option to choose characters from the past to play as um, and that would also explain Scarlet because you know it seems like Scarlet made it back onto the roster because Kronika is going back in time back into Mortal Kombat 9 and that's when she was a playable character back during Mortal Kombat 9 so um, just hearing some of the uh, some of the intro dialogue just kind of caused me to think a little bit and there was another line that uh that jade had with baraka where she was they were talking about outworld being shared and uh baraka said something about katana khan would would have us a retreat or something and then um uh i think jade said um she only wants compromise so you know a lot of weight was given to katana in that dialogue um there was a reference to her being katana khan or probably katana khanum but I, I could have sworn Baraka said Katana Khan, something along those lines. So, and then also the whole dispute over Outworld, like Netherrealm might be actually trying to attack Outworld and, you know, um, uh, take over something going on. So um, I'm just glad that we have some dialogue that's given us some clue into story mode because the story mode is still tightly under wraps and I still, you know, we still really don't know what's going on. And we haven't heard anything more about Kronika other than the fact that she's not going to be playable. So, all right, guys. So, um, yeah, so that's what I have to share about Jade. I'm really excited. She looks really good. They did a really good job. I'm glad she has appeared as a revenant because I honestly didn't know what she was going to reappear as. There's so many, so many rumors kind of broke out after Mortal Kombat 9 with Katana having the mournful variation and then Jade being in her ending. And that's one thing I don't like that the combat cast people did not take the time to explain why Katana had the mournful variation or what was the symbolism behind uh, Jade being in Katana's ending. They didn't do that. I don't know why. And that really annoys me. But that's okay. Um, so now there was a lot of talk about showing some Kano gameplay. They did say next week's stream. They don't know exactly when it's going to be, but it's going to be for the mobile stream. It's going to be a mobile stream that they're going to do. And then they also said that the, the Kano gameplay is coming up very, very soon. So guys, if you are waiting to see Kano uh, gameplay, they might they might show it as soon as next week. Because this time around, they showed uh, Jade gameplay and they also built they also added on top of what they had already shared about baraka saying that there was still a lot of baraka that hadn't really been shown off in terms of his moves and capabilities so next week we might actually get uh another character reveal and then on top of that more kano uh gameplay all right guys i hope you all enjoyed and just lastly guys i want to say that um the two characters that were listed on the pro gamers uh gamer list from the community event reveal were jade and rain uh tweety had rain and i believe that um sonic fox had jade and so far here we are with jade as a playable character so i've always known all along that you know that those those were not just slip ups those were not just goof ups or whatever or just um gimmicks or whatever they were legit so now um if jade is revealed then i'm more than certain that rain is going to be revealed as well okay guys so i'm just going to end with that hopefully you enjoyed this video and you will tune in next time for my next video leave comments in the comment section below subscribe and astronaut out